From a former college president and an army engineer to a World War II soldier who lost his life on the battlefield, Georgia Military College inducted three notable graduates into their Hall of Heroes today. Ashlyn Webb tells us how the college paid tribute. This is the highest recognition for alumni in the Corps of Cadets, and so the Georgia Military College honored and celebrated the three service in the Military Honors Parade. They went out and struck their lives such that they would live the ideals of duty, honor, country, and character above all. They are your rallying cry. One of the three honored Lieutenant General Max Noah, who graduated from Georgia Military College's high school in 1948 and went on to the United States Military Academy. Following that, he served 35 years as an Army officer in the Corps of Engineers. Also inducted into the Hall of Heroes, Lieutenant Colonel William Turner, who grew up in Millageville and graduated from the college in 1934. He went on to serve in World War II, fought on D-Day, and lost his life on the battlefield. Near St. Colm Dumont, they encountered heavy enemy resistance, and Lieutenant Colonel Turner jumped into a Sherman tank to personally direct the fire. Each time Lieutenant Colonel Turner got in or out of the tank, he exposed himself to enemy fire and eventually was tragically killed during the battle. The college also celebrated the life and service of former college president Major General William Acker, who served 33 years in the Air Force, including two combat tours in Vietnam, where he flew more than 211 combat hours. Retired Colonel Patricia Griffins Retired Colonel Patricia Griffins is Acker's daughter. She says she traveled all the way from San Antonio, Texas to watch the college her father loved so much honor his service. He would be speechless. This is an amazing uh, honor and it, it, this school meant so much to him. Quanterio Baker, a student at the college, says learning more about alumni like Acker, Turner and Noah reiterates the college's motto, start here and go anywhere. When I hear these stories, it tells me that me coming here that I have endless, uh, I have endless amount of possibilities that since I'm here, I can start and go anywhere as well. Reporting in Milledgeville, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. The college says the three men are the first inducted into the Hall of Heroes.